Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris. That's about as much energy as I can muster for an intro because fuck intros, am I right? Yep, we're starting off 2020 with a curse word, and this is the first video I am recording of the year. This is my living situation, which I uploaded in, on September 12th, 2015, and it got 410 views, 21 likes, and one thumbs down. This is on my old channel, and we're going to react to it. And I uh, don't remember the exact context of my living, so that we're going to react to this and kind of compare and contrast to how things have changed, because obviously, everything a lot has changed since then. I, 2015, how old was I in this? I was 21? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here. Yeah, I'm starting um, off with a deep voice. Hey guys, how's it going? My first video it's from my new camera. Yeah, oh, okay. gonna, um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's gonna happen a lot. God, making videos back in the day. I do miss making videos like this back in the day. Just super shambled, super unprofessional. That's what made them good, you know. I'm gonna try to get used to. I'm gonna try to get better, but you're gonna see me looking here a lot. Okay? It's because I had Not a camera here. finally. The head. Because right there. Bam. Is a little flip screen. The best part about this camera yeah um, is the actually this wasn't my d5200 that was this the, same the camera my p610 and then rotate so i can see myself so that way I can so see what was i filming on before awesome. but it's gonna be a bad habit because i'm gonna be looking at myself so i'm gonna try to block i still do so i don't look at myself because it's very hard um the point of this video is i want to talk to you guys a little bit about um and explain my living situation difficult it is for that to change I don't know I live at home uh, in my parents house Big mommy daddy now um, I'm gonna be 22 in December okay the age for a young adults moving out is increasing over the years because I like how he researched this so fact to justify the fact that I'm still living at home incredibly expensive if you're not married or if you don't have a long time long term relationship someone to share debt with and if you don't have a uh, really good paying job if you make minimum wage you're almost Fucked. you're you're not going to get your own place Dude, unless, even making what uh, i make now which is really fairly friend, above minimum wage living on my own is fucking impossible um, around here especially around here i live yeah. in new hampshire in a very small town in new hampshire where we are we have one of the highest um, renting. Dude, there's so know, much our, our I could have cut out. I did. Apartments and houses and stuff. I'm, I think I was editing this on my one of my old shitty laptops that I clearly just didn't spend any time editing because my I had like no RAM and I had just no editing. I had no rendering speed on that PC, so I didn't edit my videos for for shit unless I absolutely had to. Is some of the highest in the. That's country, one thing right? that's improved is and I at least cut my videos eight. down. 25 or 850 an hour for a minimum wage job. Um, I thought it was I still 725 a above minimum wage because mm. I've been working at this place for a long time. Let me say this. Let me explain something. So I work at my job every single day except for Sunday and Monday. Those are my days off. Thank God I have days off. Cause still the I, same. You know I wouldn't have any time because they keep the same schedule. Um, Breakfast only on Sunday, work, Monday they're just closed all out. Hours. I work night shifts. Right so out. I work like. Did I have a plug of the wall right there? I don't remember I that outlet like being there. We, huh. Uh, I get home at like 9. Oh, you know what? Uh, I guess I do remember that. Never mind. And I get home between between 8 and 9, depends on how busy we are at the end of the night. So I don't work super long shifts, which is my fault because I chose that because I have other things I'm doing. Um, so I make enough to pay phone, pay my internet, and groceries and all that stuff. And I live at my house rent free because my parents are adamant about their kids not paying rent in the house. But mm -hmm. I think that's going to change soon because I'm going to insist that I at least pay something. If I'm living here, I'm paying something. Never happened um, because they wouldn't accept it. Now I'm comfortable in this house. I've lived here for 15 years, okay? And yeah, I've we been moved in, in that house, in house uh, in the year 2000. Me, I need to make small changes in my life, otherwise I get a little bit stir crazy. I get a little bit of cabin fever. See, but it's annoying because like I, I actually even nowadays I go back. And I watch my old bedroom tour videos because I'm a. This is part of what makes it really hard for me to like let go of emotional events, like with what's happening in my life right now. Because I am such a sentimental person that I do. I go back and I watch these old videos of mine, and that's like half the reason why I even do YouTube is because I just like to look back at my experiences, my content, how I lived, what I was doing, and just I just like I just live in the past. I'm like. 
I don't I don't even really know how to explain it. I'm sorry for all the mic movements. I don't know how to explain it, but I do. I go back and I react and I watch old bedroom tours and apartment tours and all that kind of stuff because I find it fascinating to see to it's more of like it's like a uh it's like an empowerment thing to show myself, look at what you were, even though you absolutely loved that or you hated it at the time, you wish you could have that now because it was so simple. So I, as I age and as I get older, I like to watch old stuff like that because it's interesting to me to see what kind of person I was like, okay, attack on Titan boast. This room now. And I, I like this room. This is the biggest room I've had. Yeah. It's I love nice that room. I would open. still live in that room to this day, dude. Uh, I would live in that room. With, I want that exact way. room in whatever um, house I have in the future. So I want it exactly as that. On to what happened recently was, well, maybe not exact. I, I hated the ceiling. Going to about is that a, a slant or two ago. I started planning on moving out. Okay. Mm. Um, now, Apartments here, I'm going to set the bar. The minimum I could find for a one bedroom, one bathroom. Let's see what this is. Uh, like a small living room and a kitchen kind of thing. That's basic apartment living space. $700 a month, nothing included. That means no heat, no electricity, no internet, no cable. None of that Dude, included. Basically and it's only gone space up. <laughs> and a couch and a bed there and like the fridge and all that stuff. Uh, appliances and everything so they wouldn't include the couch on the bed nothing included so you have seven hundred dollars if i were to get good internet that would be an extra 50 <laughs> 50 and then if i oh, had i'm gonna be paying one 125 heat, i'm getting my I internet upgraded just everything else the bill would easily reach up to like almost a thousand dollars a month for Dude. me alone okay that's i'm gonna compare this i'm gonna compare this that's the point of this video is i'm I was worried about paying up to $1,000 a month. And yes, that's, of course, paying, like I was about to say, me by myself. But when Sam and I were living in Ossipee, we were paying, I think, uh, what was our bill? Uh, 1175 or like 1200 or it was, it was over $1,000 for water and pretty much nothing else. It was like water, and then we had to pay our utilities separately. So we had to pay electricity. It was water, trash, and plowing was all that was included in Ossipee. And it was a it was a good apartment. We had like eleven hundred square feet. We were basically paying a dollar per square foot. It was it was nice, and it had updated appliances. It was a really awesome apartment. I love that apartment too. But for what we were paying uh, on top of just our rent, we were spending like fourteen hundred dollars a month, fifteen hundred between the two of us. Granted, again, the bedroom is huge and a lot of really good stuff, but that was with two of us. So, and now where I'm living now, we're paying a thousand a month with everything included. Dylan and I are paying a thousand a month with everything included except for internet and our phones. So, bills are about the same, but at least we're closer to work for one bedroom going up to two bedroom minimum is like nine hundred dollars nothing included which means yeah. we're going up to like twelve hundred dollars a month which could be affordable with two people and then there's shitty I, locations I have have somebody else who can, and then pet and, rules can afford it and who has a reliable job you know who gets a steady income so that's difficult to find also there's not that many places around here it this is a i heard a ding i don't know if that was the uh, video or my phone it was actually on my phone wow weird uh mountains and stuff you know it's a beautiful beautiful state new hampshire so i was thinking about moving out because here my internet is god awful okay? here we go dude the, the internet the only internet we have access to is fairpoint and to put it into perspective i have 0 0.03 megabytes down and maybe 1.5 up it's megabytes yes inversely where i am now we're getting megabits which is like eight megabits to a megabyte so it's far less than it sounds so we're i'm getting my internet upgraded on thursday right and I'm, we're getting gigabit internet not gigabyte but they still have to install the gigabit line to run that internet so that's what they're doing on thursday but so we're getting gigabit which is only equaling out to like i don't know uh what is it like 70 or 100 uh gigabytes or me gigabytes jesus christ megabytes so yeah but, but this still terrible terrible internet that's my internet okay that's fucking terrible you're trying to I, upload I, on that, that I trying to play games on that Oof. so man oh man i came to a situation where i was going to move out and into a place that i'm very familiar with and that is my grandmother's house oh my yeah lives alone she i was thinking about doing that from my house and i practically grew up there because 
Uh, she lives her house. Then there's like this field, and then across the field is the of uh, uh, the barn that she owns, and a barn house. The barn house is was the first house I lived in. From 1993 in to the year 2000. And I lived there for about eight, eight or nine years of my life. No, probably eight. Seven, and you so retard. That was my first house. That was my childhood home, and I basically. I was so born in '93. So we moved out in I, 2000. I went to daycare at my grandmother's house, and we go there all the time for holidays. So I, I still want to live in my death. nana's house, dude. I and, love that uh, house. But then we moved here in the year 2000. We've been but here she, she's still kicking, dude. So my grandma's a tank. Nothing's gonna I, take I her down. Anyway, she has a lot of health problems right now, but she ain't going nowhere. Home as an adult, I want to live there, and I can get better internet. Um, so. I was going to move in there, and I talked to my grandmother about it, and I, I was like, you know, Nana, I just, I need my own space. I need more space because I have lots of stuff, and I do Thank God I didn't go through with so this, man. So she agreed, and uh, I was getting ready. I spent the first week and a half 100% gung-ho Dude, ready to I do this. I was packing. I was, gonna, I, I was promised two rooms, a bedroom and her den, which the den would have been my gaming office space where I would do all my work. I don't remember do that, but apparently that was a thing. And then the bedroom for sleeping and chilling out. Um, so I went there, I started moving stuff, I started packing and getting rid of things, and I called yesterday to set up Time Warner Internet, and I would have gotten 30 megabytes down. 30, as opposed to my point zero three. Do the yeah. math. That's an incredible increase. And do the math, because I'm not going to do it. To have. However, I'm still not going to do it. last night, old me resurfaced by old me i mean my anxiety went back to its peak all of a sudden it was like i was in sixth grade going to sergeant camp where i would be it was a week-long getaway thing yeah, yeah, yeah okay never mind I, I guess i'll explain it and i'm very i'm very um homesick and i get uh separation anxiety on top of all the other anxiety and depression i already have you know what? Maybe that's what I'm dealing with a lot right now is the situation with Sam. It's just a, it's just separation anxiety. Maybe that's a lot of what's making it difficult. Obviously, for a lot of other things. All right, so I'm having I'm having just like a slight revelation, but so all of a sudden last night it hit me like a ton of bricks. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, it does. It's, happened, it comes up as like. Was, was I was at my grandmother's dude, house. Dude, it fucking choke slams me into the table. Some stuff, packing things away. My phone was upstairs. I heard my phone go off. Mm -hmm. upstairs okay i heard my ringtone go off it sounded like it was in my pocket and then i realized i remember I went, that oh shit this isn't gonna work because my grandmother lives alone and her house is dead silent i'd I mean, emphasize I dead bedroom, and she was in dead. the kitchen and she dropped a penny i would be able to hear it and pinpoint exactly where no it joke dude so quiet it's no ridiculous. joke and I'm used to a loud house full of people. So I'm used to it. It drives me nuts, but I'm used to it. That's how I live. So I realized at that moment that I could hear my ringtone as if it was next to me that this is not going to work. Because I my sit hair is all itching. day playing podcasts, playing video games, no, making my YouTube Nana would videos, have lost her mind. and walking on the treadmill at 3 in the morning while I'm watching Supernatural on Netflix. I can do all that here without bothering anybody. I couldn't breathe in her house without bothering her. She says repeatedly... It wouldn't bother. It wouldn't bother her. She would put up with it, and if she would be a hundred percent fine, I don't believe her. No, I dude, my nana has got a temper. And then have her dude, this one time, my nana has got a temper, man. She is the sweetest woman you'll ever meet, but this one time, like my, if you make my nana mad, she'll fucking rip your tongue out and shove it up your ass. Like she is an aggressive, angry woman. If you piss her off, this one time, I was sleeping out on the fold-out couch. I must have been seven eight or something like that at the time maybe maybe upwards to 10 maybe and the power went out and i was sleeping on the fold out uh, couch bed and i i was like half asleep and the power went out so i woke up and was like oh the power's out but i wasn't thinking i went over to the sink and i grabbed the cup and i started to turn the faucet on to get some water and she's like yeah what the fuck are you doing you dumb bastard you turn that fucking sink on because <laughs> she didn't want the pipes to get all fucked up because we didn't have power so i was like i'm sorry no i didn't mean to i'm sorry I went over to the couch and cried. It was fucking hilarious, and she apologized to me. I'm like, Nana, you said some mean things to me. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be too loud. That's the problem. Is, uh, and I got way it, too it just, anxious. It wouldn't work. It would drive her nuts and be getting I'm so fights, annoyed that the background's uh, in focus and that I am not in I focus. I her through that. I'm that so mad at that right now. Stuff. She's in, in a quiet house. I wouldn't be able to just walk out and, if I wanted it, have any sort of interaction. I wouldn't be able to walk out and see my brother Dylan and be like, yo, what's up? Hey, I just played Life is Strange Episode 5. Mind blow. And, you know, talk about Mind blow. Just say hey to Henry, my brother Henry. Go out, just see what my mom and dad are up to. And, uh, 
it would just see that's what i still do now because i i am a creature of isolation right i like to just be alone do my thing without worrying about anything that's outside of the walls i contain myself in i just like to be in my space and i'm comfy and do what i do but i can only exist in that state for so long before i need to leave and go find some type of interaction just like like I just said, walk out and see Dylan. I would walk out there and just see Sam and be like, hey, Sam, what's up? And just give a little little butt pokes or something like that. You know, just I go out there. I would have to like socially reset my brain to like establish that the world existed. And that's what I used to do at home. I would just walk out and I'd have like the entire house is alive. My mom's doing dishes. My dad's sit, drinking coffee and like sitting at the table. Olivia and Jake are running around trying to rip each other's heads off. And Dylan's in there moping and playing a game on xbox or something and i just walk out and just find somebody like who do i want to interact with for the next minute and a half before i go back to isolation for now no matter how much i i would love to move out and i want that internet so bad i need that internet because if i had the internet i wouldn't i wouldn't have to bring my laptop to my job to mm -hmm. upload in the fucking basement i've told it before dude i have to do to upload I my videos go it downstairs would, it would literally upload videos <laughs> nine to 15 hours to upload a 20 30 minute video at my house not to mention using up all my data. So I and that's a video that's basically just a raw file, too. It was never compressed, so it was always uploading a straight-up, like, 20-minute long video of the raw file. That's why all my Black Ops 3 videos back in the day, whereas they did fairly well back then, they were very bad videos because most of the time they just weren't edited because I had, didn't have the capability to edit. Now I have a thousand, now I have an almost $2,000 PC where I can edit all the time, and I just don't have the motivation or the willpower. <laughs> I bring my laptop to work to upload videos. Um, I have to do that today. Probably with this. Uh, really I still no have options. that shirt. No I still have the go. necklace. Um, there, re there really isn't. And I don't make anywhere near enough to be able to live on my own or anything like that. Keep in mind, so I was also, I think, only working about 30 hours. Like between 25 and 30 hours. Which now I work in the summers 36 to 42 hours. Which fucking sucks. But... Uh, on average, I work 32 to 36 hours in winter and slower time. So I was making less money and working less. So I was only taking home maybe $180 paychecks at the time. And that might be a little low, might be a little generous. I don't quite remember. But I definitely just never made enough money no. to do anything with, to plan anything with. The thing is, like, even if I could handle uh, being quiet over there, having better internet, the problem is I wouldn't be able to make lots of videos you know and i could work more i could work a lot more i could get two jobs and i could do all that and make enough money to two jobs dude own, get my own shut the fuck up however you, you ain't getting two jobs videos. you guys wouldn't have art you guys people i wouldn't be able to work on my book i wouldn't be able to play mm -hmm. games i mm -hmm. wouldn't have i wouldn't have time to do any of i wouldn't have a life because i'd be working so much so i do my drawings i do my writing and i hope something takes off to the point where I can actually make a sustained <laughs> living off of YouTube or writing or something like that. You um, poor bastard. Yeah, I'm just going to put away money, keep saving money. And I don't save, save money. I'm bad at saving money. Um, you poor fuck. But, so that's what's been going on. To be fair, it worked out. I got better internet. I moved out. I've lived a life that I never, ever, ever expected I would live. But there's no success in the things you do. Don't give up. Try fucking harder back then. Try harder now, Chris. What are you doing with your Hold life? Hold on. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. I don't really know where else to go with it. I just wanted to inform you guys on what I could have made this video about three minutes shorter, just cutting out pauses so, and ums and stuff. at least this way, you guys will still get videos. I can be loud if I want to. I can make loud videos. Ah, yeah, yeah, we're done. So that is a comparison to my living situation and how much things have changed. If you guys have been around for a little bit, you know how much has changed. But if you never saw this video, didn't have any context, well, a lot's changed. It, I mean, to be fair, this was, like, like I said, like five years ago. I want to see who's in the comments. I'm pretty sure Alan's down here. We have HML. I remember HML. Alan's here. I'm five years old and I'm still at home and everything to do with my OCD autism. I don't know why I'm saying it in a sarcastic voice. But there's Alan. There's Aaron, lad. I miss Aaron. Um... Handbrake your videos to get a closer with decent internet to upload. Yeah, I could have used Handbrake, but nah. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, more reactions coming because while I'm here, fuck it. I'm going to film a few more. Bye, everyone.